us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. First John chapter three verses eighteen. Hello, family. We must welcome back again to the Love Star channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Let's make the most juiciest pork kebab or skewers with some crispy fried yum. Let's get started. As we always do, let's go through our ingredients. Here I have my meat and all my vegetables and including my soya spice, which I also have a recipe of. I do have two tablespoons of Greek yogurt, a bit of olive oil, and here is my secret touch, which is the cranberry juice. And using some cooking wine will be also very, very good, okay? I'll list each and every ingredient below in the description box. To start off, I'll go ahead and chop my onions. This is very, very important. That is going to make this kebab look absolutely gorgeous so i love to chop them into large sizes like this i'll proceed by chopping the red onions as well i also save half or quarter part of the onions as we will be blending that part i'll use the same process for the red onions as well i'll cut them into two use half of them as um, garnishing and half as the marinade okay and for our marinade we are going to add half size each of the red yellow and green bell peppers and we're going to also add our ginger garlic and the habanero pepper we're going to blend everything together and this is going to be our marinade all right So as everything is blended smoothly, I'll go ahead and grab my frying pan into that. I'll add a bit of olive oil, about three tablespoons, and then add all my blended vegetables. We are not going to fry this for very long time. We're going to fry it for about three minutes. We're just trying to build up all the flavors up, okay? So to that, I'll add my salt and also add about three tablespoons of my suya spice mix. I do have a recipe on my suya spice mix mix i will link it here and below as well please 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 check that out because homemade is always the best okay so i'll fry that for about three minutes as i said earlier on and then put it aside and allow it to completely cool down this mixture is absolutely delicious fam you need to try this so once that is cooling down i'll go ahead and then work on my meat this meat is actually very well clean so all that i'm going to do is to cut them into cubes you know manageable sizes for it to fit our skewer very well okay <laughs> well, this totally depends on how big or small you want your meat okay so go ahead and cut it according to your taste or preference and if you are still enjoying this recipe please do not forget to hit the like button it really really helps the channel growth okay so we're done chopping off our meat let's go ahead and pour all our marinade on it i'll begin with the cranberry juice as i said earlier on you can use cooking wine as well and i also add my greek yogurt if you do not have access to greek yogurt you can use about a tablespoon of mayonnaise here as well okay make sure everything is well mixed and massaged very well okay so it's now time for us to add our vegetable marinade that we did previously make sure it's very well cooled down before you add it here because you do not want to cook the meat right <laughs> massage it very well as it's going to help maintain all the juiciness that you need in your kebabs okay so please make sure you soak your skewers in water for about an hour before you use it because you don't want it to burn once you are grilling your meat okay especially today that i'll be using the charcoal grill do same even if you're using the oven okay go ahead and just put your meat so this is how i like it i like to put one meat to one onion one meat to one onion until 
the skewers or the stick is full of the meat okay continue until you are done just look how pretty and gorgeous you're looking so once they're done go ahead and sprinkle more of your sweet spice mix which is going to make that authentic kebab filling come to pass it is so good and it smells absolutely incredible <laughs> as i said today the weather was not so bad here so i decided to use the charcoal grill grilling it in your oven is also very well but nothing can beat a very well charcoal grilled kebab trust me fam <laughs> it's absolutely the authentic way to make it and i hope you remember where this fiber is coming from it's coming all the way from our palm nut soup yes if you've not watched my palm nut recipe i will link it here and below as well this is one of the importance of using fresh palm nuts for your soup okay you get to save this fiber for your grill leaving infuse your water with this amazing smoke that comes from this fiber trust me family it brings up so many memories <laughs> and this is way better than using your newspaper your plastic or even kerosene okay absolutely the best if i tell you my heart was happy trust me it was <laughs> so once the fire was set we go ahead and just place our kebabs on top make sure the fire is not too high as a standard chances of burning your kebabs we don't want that okay absolutely great <laughs> i was so 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 happy doing this you have no idea for me just the little things matters okay this brought up so much fun memories but here you go ahead and turn it and also apply some of the marinade on top just so that it maintain its juiciness and you can also intentionally drop few of the sea spice in the fire it's going to infuse this whole kebab and you're going to even love it more and more try it okay <laughs> make sure you turn it every two to three minutes to prevent it from burning at this point i left the kebab for the boys to handle as i go and fry the yum hobby used his phone to film while he was attending to it and he and the kids <laughs> were consuming this meat as they were done i don't know if it was such a good idea to leave it for them to handle <laughs> it was so funny but i don't blame them you know it was so juicy and just inviting i'm back in the kitchen to peel off the yam and i'll just cut them into these nice forms i love my yam to be chunky while i fry them but you go ahead and decide okay <laughs> So I will cut them into this exact form, which I absolutely love. It also looked like just like the potato fries that we normally have. It's so, so, so good. So once I'm done, I'll just give it another wash and add a little bit of water and sprinkle a little bit of salt. And if you want it to be very bright and yellowish, you can also sprinkle a little bit of turmeric powder and it's going to be very nice nice and colorful i did not have any turmeric at home either than that i normally you know add a little bit on it just go ahead and fry it in a hot oil and you will have that perfectly fried crispy yam that you will love to pair with this kebabs this where the little kebab that i was able to show you from it was really hard to continue this video i did not want it to end like this at all but before i realized they had you know finished everything and was <laughs> i was speechless fam <laughs> anyway this is what we got you can definitely plate it like this or just use it as skewers do not forget to sprinkle more of your sea spice mix on top. It is absolutely delicious. Do have our pepper and, uh, you know, black chili sauce. That is a shito to pair with this with a bit of chilled drink to just push 
everything down family it was so 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 good i really hope you give this a try you're going to absolutely love 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 this thank you so much family for watching right to the end please do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this recipe and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey Touch. my main goal here is to jay you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe for more amazing recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one